All right, so we finally have some details about the upcoming Fizz LR Trunks, Extreme Z Awakening, and I gotta say, it looks really, really good. Now, of course, as always, before we get into the EZA stuff, we're gonna start by quickly going over what he does right now without the Extreme Z Awakening, just for comparison purposes. All right, so popping over to the Dokkan Wiki, starting with his leader skill, it's Fizz types, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 90%, 12 key super attack causes colossal damage and raises defense by 30% for three turns, and then 18 key super causes mega colossal damage and raises defense by 30% for three turns. Finally, passive is attack plus 120% and high chance to perform a critical hit. So very basic passive, just the 50% chance to crit and the 120% attack boost. And as you can see, no defense whatsoever. I mean, at the very least, he did have the 30% defense for three turns on the 12 key and 18 key supers, which uh, made him at least a little bit more tanky than some of the other LRs released around this time and just units in general. He was, I guess, fairly tanky for the time, but of course now he's a huge liability on defense and basically unusable, I would say, in some of the harder events in the game. So let's see how this EZA corrected that. Starting with the leader skill, it's now uh, Fizz types key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 120%, new passive. I can't read this, but luckily we do have the homie Goresh for the translations. Big, big shout out and thank you to him. This guy was ridiculously fast. Uh, this time around. I mean, they released the details on JP 35 minutes ago, and he had the translations 33 minutes ago. So basically, within two to three minutes, he had these up, which is absolutely crazy. So thank you, Goresh, for the translations. His new passive with the EZA is attack plus 150% and defense plus 100%, key plus three, and gains an additional attack plus 50% when attacking extreme class enemies. High chance to perform a critical hit, gains an additional key plus five, and performs a critical hit if there is a wicked bloodline category enemy. So essentially, 30% uh, more attack, the 100% defense is new, and then we get uh, additional key plus three, and 50% more attack if you're attacking an extreme class enemy. And on top of that, we still have the high chance to crit, but if you're facing Wicked Bloodline, then he gets five more key, and also a guaranteed critical for every single attack um, during that fight, which is pretty crazy. So, uh, I like the new passive. It's, I guess, a little bit basic, but it is very fitting with the character, with, you know, the origin of the card. And uh, he's gonna be really, really strong, guys, against extreme class enemies, especially Wicked Bloodline extreme class, which is essentially all of them, I guess. And, uh, oh, of course, super attacks, forgot about those. Uh, 12 key super attack causes cost of damage and raises defense by 30% for six turns. And then 18 key super causes mega cost of damage and raises defense by 30% for six turns. So instead of the three turns, it's now six turns after the extreme Z awakening. And uh, even though 100% defense isn't a ton, because he's raising defense by 30% for six turns, when you stack those, uh, he's gonna be quite tanky. And of course, you are gonna be giving him uh, additional in his hidden potential as opposed to crit because he already has the built-in 50% chance to crit. So additionals make a lot more sense. So if you're getting you know, double supers like every other turn, then as long as he's a slot two unit, or even, I guess if you have him super first and then the next turn he comes back, he still has that defense boost, then he could be a decent slot one unit too. So overall, I mean, it's a really good Extreme Z Awakening, guys. Um, I don't really have too much to complain about. I guess he could have maybe received a little bit more defense, but I'm okay with the 100% plus the 30% for six turns with the supers. And then of course, from an offensive perspective, uh, as I said, he's gonna be hitting really hard against extreme enemies. 
and he's gonna absolutely tear through any wicked bloodline enemies like a cooler or a Frieza and so on and so forth and uh, yeah very solid Extreme Z Awakening in my books um, I'm not gonna call him like super busted by any means but I think it's a very fair Extreme Z Awakening I think it's pretty much what I wanted at least maybe you guys were expecting more definitely let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about this EZA are you overwhelmed or I guess underwhelmed or are you impressed or is it just kind of like what you expected you know because I'm pretty happy with it like Fizz LR Trunks was definitely an EZA that I was very much looking forward to and I would say this does not disappoint me uh, at all so there you go guys that is the Trunks Extreme Z Awakening coming to JP in I think about a week maybe a little bit less maybe a little bit more but somewhere around there and then of course eventually to global as well at some point in the future when we get the uh, Tokon Fest transforming Trunks so uh, that's all I gotta say guys thank you so much for watching as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.